Hi there, Tin from Kayon. Today we're going to walk you through how to install our high performance X700 underbody guards for the LC200 Land Cruiser. So if you're heading off road, even on those lighter tracks or even at the beach, there's one part of your vehicle that's fairly vulnerable and that's the underbody. Now rightly so, because you've got you know, your radiator, you've got sumps, transmissions, and any of these being damaged could be a showstopper. Now Toyota at the factory, they do offer protection, but generally it's fairly light gauge, thin steel. And if anything, when you do bend those, they're a bit more of a pain in the butt to get back on and off. Now the traditional offerings for underbody protection uh, have been you know, strong but heavy steel and you know, your four mil sort of steels and stainless steels or your lighter but generally not as durable aluminium. Now the way we've approached underbody protection is to use a high performance steel X700 and that addresses both the weight and strength. So being three mil much lighter but still much stronger than the heavier thicker steel bash plates. It also allows us to incorporate features and folds and form the bash plates in a way that even improves its performance even more. We've got another video where we dive into the features of our X700 range. We have a look at the material, the design and the weights. Now to watch that video, have a look at the link in our description. We need to do a bit of prep first, grab the sump guard and we're going to install this little oil ramp. There's a nut set on the back of it already, grab a little M6 bolt and we'll get that installed. And what this helps you with is, it means that you don't need to take your sump guard off to do an oil change. Let's tighten that up. Now this is the first part of the guard or part of the protection that we'll install. But before we can actually do that, we'll need to get the factory bash plates off. We need to get rid of any bash plates that are on here already, whether it be factory or any other brand. This vehicle here, we've removed all the bash plates. Now, the other thing we need to do is there are some diff uh, arm covers. Need to remove those, retain the bolts, because we'll be reusing these bolts to install our guards. Now, first thing to do is to fit the sump guard. If you have a factory bumper, you'll find that there's a bunch of plastic flashing and clips and so forth that are here. So just make sure you remove those so that we can attach those to the bash plates. So this is an older vehicle and generally in older vehicles, I always like to make sure the, the surfaces are clean and also the threads are in good condition. So we generally run the bolts through, just to make sure the threads are good. And then we run a little bit of um, anti-seize up in these holes because especially if you're doing a fair bit of beach, your bolts will rust up in behind them and you'll have a hell of a time getting them off when you want to get your bash plates off. Grab the sump. And we this. Now this bash plate here is specifically designed for this diff drop here, but the standard bash plates, non-diff drop bash plates install exactly the same. And as per usual, we like to you know, protect and tuck our bolts away because if you hang up on those bolts or hit those bolts in the tracks, you can bend those bolts and they'll either break on the way out or they'll damage the captive nuts up inside the chassis. So I've got those up nice and loose. We'll tighten those ones up later. I'll grab the front guard now. With the front guard, we want to install or reinstall the M8 bolts that were on this front sort of radiator cross member and just wind them in a couple of threads. And what that allows us to do, makes installing bash plates a little bit easier, is it allows us to slide the front guard on and it should just hang there while you're getting yourself ready for the other bolts. So it's always a nice little feature. We'll get these M10 bolts up into the chassis here. Okay. Again, bolts recess, so we've got a nice smooth underside. Less hang ups. Let's get the transmission on. So, to attach the transmission guard, We'll install these M8 bolts into the sump guard first. OK. 
Okay. And the transmission guard's got some slots there. So we should be able to slot that up into there and line up these back bolts. So I'll just get one of these in first. And come back to the front here. And you'll need a little open spanner or a ratchet spanner. Love the ratchet spanners. With this transmission guard for vehicles, I think it's 2019 onwards or 2018 onwards, or well, the ones with the DPF, they have a guard that covers the DPFs. And uh, with the transmission guard, we just put it over the top of that guard. So you won't take it off, this will sit over the top. Okay, we've got all the bolts in. They're not quite in position yet. So what we'll, go, what we'll do is we'll go around and we'll just check that we're happy with the position of all the plates. Even them up, and then we'll torque them all down. Now with these bash plates here, it's always nice to line up these gaps. Just loosen those off a little, makes it a bit easier. Okay, it's looking pretty sweet with that and tighten these ones up. So these little cutouts actually aren't just for looks, there's little tabs underneath there to help support the bash plates if you get a bit of a hit in the corner there. So functional and look good as well. Now these nut sets here are to attach back to the factory plastic um, trims and also will match up with some splash guards from like ARB and so forth. So these little M6 nut sets make your life a bit easier. There you have it, underbody protection for the LC200. We have versions for our diff drop as well as standard versions. If you'd like to know more information, check out our other video or visit our website kion.com.au.